Hi guys, it's Jalisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. But welcome to my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. That's the first step. And then you're in the club. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to do a look. Um, I saw a picture on Instagram by Alcantara, Alcantara Makeup, um, a while back, like, from last year and I still had it in my phone so I wanted to recreate it it's like this purple smoky eye blown out smoky eye lots of dewy highlighted skin and glossy lips I'm not going to do so much of the dewy highlighted skin because I have oily skin but I'm going to try to go for the smoky eye and the glossy lips so it's going to be inspired by this look it's not going to be exactly like it I'm just getting inspiration from it I'm going to stop talking now and let's just get into doing the fun part. <laughs> Alright, so you guys have zoomed in a little bit more. Um, for the eyes, because it's a full-on purple look, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35B palette. It is just their colorful, huge palette. They no longer make this, it's discontinued, but they do have the James Charles palette, which is pretty much the same thing, um, uh, just revamped and reformulated. Or you can use another palette that has purples in it. It's all up to you, whatever you have. You don't have to go out and buy anything else. This is the earliest that I've ever recorded. It is 10 25 in the morning. I've done my makeup this early before but I've never recorded this early so I'm proud of myself. Hmm. First things first, before I even jump into the eyeshadow I'm going to apply some setting powder under my eyes to catch fallout and I'm also just going to apply some under my cheekbones to sculpt out and bake. And I like doing this when I do my makeup because like I said I have oily skin so it just makes sure that while I'm doing my makeup my skin doesn't get oily as I'm filming because literally even when I sit and film I can get oily. Alright so like I said I'm going to use primarily the purple shades in this palette. The first shade I'm going to go into is this Barney purple right here. These shades don't have names but it's just that Barney purple. I'm using a Morphe this is for M433 brush and I'm just going to apply this to my crease. Probably should have used a wet shadow base but it's cool. Like I said it's just inspired by the look. If I was to use the wet base the colors would be more pigmented and more vibrant. And I'm going to wing it out just lightly. Whatever is left on a brush I'm just winging it out. It's okay if like the edges are a little rough. I'm going to take a clean Morphe brush the M503 brush and go right over that to smooth it out a little. There's no product on it. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go into back into the palette and take the shade above that, which is like a light purple, like lilac. I'm going to run that around the edges as well. To add a little bit more depth, I'm going to go in with this deeper purple shade with a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to apply this to my inner and outer corner and slowly build it into the crease but very lightly. Look at that, it adds so much depth. I'm starting by packing it on the outer and inner corner. That's the technique I always like to use and then take the very edge of the brush to slowly start to pack it in the center. And I'm going to keep this other brush close with that medium purple shade and just blend out the edges as we build so that way it doesn't get too crazy. I keep saying like a wet base would have been so good. I feel like with the Morphe palette especially and like using any sort of vibrant like vibrant colors a wet base is just what you need but I already did my face. I wasn't thinking like I wasn't even thinking. Now I'm gonna go with that light purple, that lilac again, and blend out it all. Here we are, looking crazy. To add a little bit more depth, I'm gonna use the black out of the palette. And I'm gonna take that with a bullet brush. This is the e.l.f. 
eye crease brush and this is going to add a little bit more depth and smokiness just to the very outer and inner corners though so in the photo it looks like she does have something a little light in the center there i'm not sure if it's a matte shade or shimmer i can't really see what it is because her eyes are open but i'm going to apply that lilac shade and before i do that i'm actually going to clean up with some concealer just so that way it's not as dark on the lid and that color really stands out and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And it doesn't have to be like super perfect. I'm just literally going to pat it on my lid. And I'm just going to take that um, black and just go along the edges. I'm not trying to cut the crease or anything. I'm just trying to clean up the lid space so that that lilac shade really pops. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. flat brush. This is the eyeshadow brush. And pack that on my lid. And you can really see that color now. I feel like if I were to just apply it right on top, it wouldn't be as vibrant. So that's the top portion of the eyes. I want to do the under eye now. And I'm going to take that MAC 217 brush. And I'm actually going to mix the two purple shades, the darker ones, and run that under my eyes. With that black, I'm going to take that pencil brush and go really close to my lashes. Like really get that in there and I'm gonna take my favorite liner at the moment it's the Noor by Lancome I really love this liner like it's really good it's so creamy it's balm it's just so black <laughs> and I want to put that in my waterline and bam all right so I'm gonna get rid of this fallout on my face because it's a mess and I'm gonna take that brush we use with the lilac shade and blend out the edges of this because it's looking a, real, a little rough right here I'm just gonna go and blend that out. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and like try to, I don't know, it's just so odd to me because I never do it this way. But we're trying something new. That's why I love recreating photos or like things I see because it always pushes me to do stuff that I never did. And Blue is just living her best life, snoring away as usual i'm actually going to brighten up the inner corner a bit which i'm not always a fan of but i'm trying to recreate this picture y'all please excuse blue snoring like she's just knocked out i can't control it my baby's taking her little nap so this is the sugar pill pigment in the shade grand tiara it's a super super silver pigment like so silver i got this a long time ago from beauty con and i'm gonna take a pencil brush this is the sigma e30 brush and i'm going to wet my brush first and i'm going to pick that up onto my brush this is what it looks like it's so silver like you can't even see it i don't really like inner corner highlight but i'm gonna do it and i'm kind of blending it up into the lid and shadow and i always take a clean brush to blend out the edges of the inner corner I don't know I guess it's because I don't like in the corner highlight I always feel like it needs to be blended out see I just like it without in the corner highlight like which one do you guys like best like I really love it without it because it looks more grunge this is still grunge but like there's something there my mom um when I first applied in the corner highlight she was like oh my gosh I hate it it looks like coal is in my eye <laughs> So every time I apply it, that's what I think of now. She scarred me. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my lashes and a little bit of liner to hide the lash band and mascara. So I'm going to finish off the face. I'm going to apply highlighter and I'm just going to use the Dose of Colors in I Love Sarai highlighter. I always use this. I don't tend to buy a lot of stuff if it's not necessary. This is why I typically use the same things in videos. So I'm just applying that to my cheekbones. So the girl in the photo did have a nose highlight and like cupid's bow highlight. I'm gonna skip that because I plan on being out for a while today and I like I said I have oily skin and that's just going to make my oily skin more oily throughout the day. So I'm just gonna skip the nose highlight and leave it on to my cheeks. So already enough, y'all see the highlight? <laughs> for blush, I'm going to use my MAC Breath of Plum highlighter. For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Breath of Plum blush. I'm going to put that on my cheeks. And I want to dust away this baking powder from under my cheekbones. I just like it because it sculpts out those cheeks. So that's it for the eyes and the face. I'm going to move into lips. I'm just muting all over my lips with a little bit of concealer that's left over. Because I naturally have dark lips. 
this is going to meet them out a little so that the lipstick is a little more neutral i know it looks crazy but it works in the photo it looks like the girl just has like a natural lip color this may not even be lipstick she's wearing it may just be gloss but like i said i have naturally dark lips so i'm going to try to lighten them up a bit so for lips i'm going to use this is the nyx lip pencil in the shade mauve and then i'm going to go on top with nyx abu dhabi lip what is this? Soft matte cream from the beauty supply store. Super cheap. I'm just applying this lip liner all over. I'm going to apply the lip cream right on top. I'm going to apply the tiniest bit of brown liner. This is NYX Downtown Beauty. And this is going to define the lip line a little bit more. And then right on top of that, I'm going to take the gloss. This is Dose of Colors, the most lip gloss. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my lips. Look at that. My gloss is popping. And I never wear gloss, but every time I do, it's just like, oh, hi. So this is the eyes, the face, the lips. You see it? Uh, I don't know. Did I nail it in the picture or not? You let me know. I don't know. I'm going to fix my hair, zoom out, and come back so you guys can see it all together. All right. Be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back. This is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. It's super glam. Grunge glam. Um, I really like it. The inner corner highlight does make it a little more glam than grunge. I feel like if you skipped out on the inner corner highlight and you're more into doing like a just a plain old matte look, this would be perfect for you. The glossy lips are bomb. I love them. Like I said, I typically don't do glossy lips, but the picture allowed me to step out of my comfort zone. I don't think I have much to say. You guys tell me if you like how the look turned out, if it turned out similar or not. I really like it though it's super cute and yeah it's different for me i love doing purples on my eyes i feel like the purples could have been a little more vibrant if i used a wet base so if you want this to be a more popping purple look then definitely use a wet base but it still looks really nice like it still turned out really good shout out to alcantara alcantara makeup on instagram i will leave that in the description boxes and his information as well as my social media platforms and my website where you can book appointments with me if you're in the dmv area so yeah i really like how it turned out i'm super excited um <clears throat> i think this is all i have to say i'm going to get ready to head out and enjoy this beautiful beautiful fall day like i said in the beginning if you're not subscribed please subscribe like i really appreciate everyone who actually takes the time out to watch my videos it means a lot to me um that there's people watching me so i appreciate all the support i think that's all i have to say <laughs> blue is up i know y'all could probably hear her walking around she's up so yeah have a great day no matter what's going on in your life stay positive and keep praying love you guys bye